Mount Wilson is famous for its telescopes, perched about 5,000 feet above the San Gabriel Valley. Today, it's an easy scenic drive up the Angeles Crest Highway. But at the turn of the century, there was a different route, a toll road. For 25 cents, adventurous motorists could take their chances on a windy, narrow, dangerous nine-mile drive. Morgan Yates is a historian for the Automobile Club of Southern California. He brought in some rare footage of the old road to Mount Wilson. Morgan, tell us, what are we seeing here? Well, Val, this is what you might call a, a point of view showing the toll road leading up to Mount Wilson. And uh, it originally started in 1891. And it was a whole lot narrower than you see here. This it's is narrow a, enough. It is, is you know, not much wider than a single vehicle. But when it started out, it was only four feet wide. And it was four feet wide. Four feet wide, but the, there were no cars on it. Of course, this is 1891, and the folks that would have been using it would have needed just enough room for pack mules, pack mules, and just to walk up the trail themselves on, on foot. But even into the 1920s, you might encounter pack mules. As we see here, they're, they're still there. And of course, you can imagine today coming across this with a suburban full of kids would be quite a scene. But it wasn't too rare, even late in 1927. And it was simply a way to get equipment? And Those like are that pack way? mules. You'll see that they're loaded up with food. And they would have probably provided provisions and materials to a number of the camps that were up there. There were two camps. And then later on, 1905, there was a hotel that oh. was built right near the observatory, which of course is really what the draw was, or in addition to the, the great landscapes. There was an observatory that was uh, built in 1905. As a matter of fact, it's the observatory that is the reason why the road is as wide as it got, because in 1917, after years of construction, a 100-inch wide glass reflector was taken up this road that you're looking at. This road? In a truck, and it took them almost eight hours to do it. So they were traveling, you can do the math, about a mile an hour to get this 9,000 pound piece of glass from the toll house in Altadena up to the top where the observatory is. They had some rules of the road that people had to abide by. One of them was the speed limit, seven miles an hour. Seven miles an hour? Right, so. Up this entire road, nine Yes, and you'll nine see miles. in the tape, there's a lot of windy roads, windy turns, hairpin turns. One of the other rules is that as you were coming around a turn, you had to honk your horn. Oh, that makes sense. Oftentimes, you get some elevation, and so during the winter months, you're going to have some snow. No kidding. As if it weren't perilous enough, exactly. you add snow and ice? And they're still driving through this? Added degree of difficulty. Of course, seven miles an hour, you wouldn't want to go much faster than that, and maybe even slower. Do you know of anybody, are there any records of people dying or accidents or anything? Well, as popular as that was, it was really pretty safe. And it's because the danger was right there in front of you. And so uh, you knew better than to be distracted. So I don't think there were many distracted drivers. Now here, lo and behold, a sign. It's Voila. a sign, and Amazing. I can tell right away from the shape. <laughs> that it's an auto club sign. Also, well, the auto club had to put its own signs up there, right? They and did. Was um, this, was, this was before the day when public agencies, like we have now, would put up signs. And the sign says, warning low gear for safety. Now, this car in particular is a what? This is a, you can see the emblem on the door. This is actually an auto club staff car. It's a Cadillac, as it turns out, about oh. a 1921 or 22 Cadillac. The reason that they were shooting this film and they were up there was to gather information on the road to make sure that it was still in passable condition. Wasn't there an uh, auto club engineer who was very instrumental? You'll in see one I recognize because we have many photos of him. And uh, his name is Ernest East, and he's... Uh, Ernest East? Ernest East, as east. in the direction oh, east. east. Ernest oh, okay. E. East, so his initials were triple E. And he was the club's chief civil engineer. He has this great legacy of photographs um, that are in the Auto Club archives, so it's very cool to see him holding a camera. Now, what happens with the toll road is when that Angeles Crest Highway opens in 1935, it made it a lot easier to get um, to the top of the, of the mountain. Mm -hmm. There was a cutoff from the Angeles Crest that allow access to the top of Mount Wilson. So the toll road essentially is bypassed and it closes as a toll road in 1936. Today, the road is a trail and if you're a hiker that wants a good workout, you can hike all the way up to Mount Wilson. 
So Morgan Yates, thank you so much for bringing all this in and sharing it with us. It's just fascinating to look at the past. Well, it's my pleasure to do so. Thank you.